And here's another update of the Shrike and the tandem build of the last two motors. As you can see, we're getting all the plates done, all the exterior casing done. I've got one more going here. Got to print two more after that. When that's done, we're going to duct work. Well, no, I'm sorry. We're going to the top bearing assembly in the main center hexagonal shaft that will hold the stabilization bearing, just like you see here. It's not like a super necessary part, but I would, I erred on the side of caution. We are spinning it at 9,000 RPMs. So why take a risk, right? You know, the body work's done. So it's just a matter of getting the duct work all done after this. And then we are going to start assembling this big girl on the ground. Got a big old painter's tarp ready to go. So I can lay it out nice and flat on the floor, move the table and start putting this thing together. Dropping in engines, dropping in my Arduinos, my lighting. All my lighting goes on the exterior of the casing here, as you saw in some of the visual demonstrations from before. Uh, so I'm, I got to get those put in, wired up. The body's going to have two strips of lights across the top facing down so that it illuminates the exterior of the body frame itself um, and has a different pattern than what's going on on the engines so there's a lot of pro programming options we can do with that we can have all the engines doing the same sequence that i decide to do or i can have them doing different sequences um have a specific patterns for the entire body things like that so it's going to be interesting as we go along this is sort of one of my bus bars for the power supply and that's just for the lighting <laughs> because the, the engines the ESCs are going to require a 500 to 600 amp bus bar. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. So let's get back to work. Let's get these fans finished. Let's get you guys ready to see a lit up in the garage on the floor arming of all four motors. we got a lot of printing to do. These take 10, 10 hours Per plate for the support material 10 hours just for each section 80 hours just to do the fan casings a lot more for those but don't worry it's coming it's coming so just stay tuned it's going to be beautiful i cannot wait to see this thing fully assembled it's going to be a milestone and i hope you're all there for it you will be if you have the bell clicked and share it with others Thanks a lot. Love you all. See you in the next one. Back to work.